Hi friends, I'm Amy from Amy Latta Creations. And as part of Tombow's Creator Crew, I'm so excited to be here today to share with you how to make this really fun emoji face canvas. You can follow along and create right along with me using the same exact faces that I chose, or you can choose your own favorite emojis. All you need to create this project with me is a blank canvas, Tombow ABT Pro markers. Those are alcohol based, so they're perfect for this surface. You're also going to need a Tombow drawing pencil, a Tombow mono eraser. I recommend the sand one. And you're gonna need a detail paintbrush and some white acrylic paint. Once you've gathered your supplies, let's get started. The first step is to create circles for our emoji faces. I'm using the lid of a mason jar and I'm gonna start off in the center of my top row and I'm just going to gently trace the shape. Then I'm going to do one underneath in the center of my bottom row. Then work my way out to the sides. This way I make sure that all six faces fit on the canvas. We just wanna do this as lightly as possible with pencil and then these marks will get erased later after we fill in our faces with marker. Now that we have our circles, the next step is to fill them in with color. All of the emojis that I've chosen are faces, so I'm using P025 Tombow ABT Pro. These markers are dual tipped, so you can use either the brush tip or you can use the chisel tip to color in or both. Tombow ABT Pro markers are also alcohol based, which means that they're permanent on surfaces like canvas, as well as wood, metal, plastic, and lots of other surfaces. This makes them a great choice for projects like this one that are off of the paper page. We're gonna continue doing the same thing until all six of our circles are colored in. If you've chosen to do different kinds of emojis, of course, you're gonna be coloring those in whatever shades they require. If you happen to make a mark outside of the lines like I did, never fear. The Tombow Mono Sand and Rubber Eraser is gonna be your new best friend. The sand is gritty and it gets down in the particles of your surface and removes things, even permanent ones, like the ABT Pro. So now we have our six circles. I don't know about you, but I think P025 is pretty much a perfect emoji color. But if you've ever studied your favorite emojis, you might have noticed that they're not solid colors. In fact, around the outside edges, they have a little bit of a yellow, orange, darker shade blended in. So we're gonna use P993 to do that for our emojis. So we're just gonna go around the outside edges and we're gonna blend a little bit of this darker shade in. Just kind of outlining right along the sides there. And we'll do that for all six faces once again. Now, once our marker is dry, we can go back in and erase those pencil lines that we don't want to see. Once this step is done, it's time for the most fun part, which is adding the facial expressions to your emojis. I chose and sketched out these six before I started. You can choose any six that you particularly like, and you can either sketch them or take a screenshot. Then we're going to lightly pencil these faces on top of our yellow circles. So I'm going to start with Mr. Laughing Out Loud, and I'm going to lightly pencil in his little closed eyes, which are just semicircles. Then he has a big wide smile, that good emoji mouth there. He also has a row of teeth. He has tears coming off of his face that actually extend outside of the circle a little bit. So we wanna make sure that we go into the white part just a bit. And then he has these little expressive eyebrows on top. Now I'm gonna trace over these. So I'm going to actually be using not a black marker, but the PN35, which is a really dark gray, because if you've ever studied your emojis, you know that they're not actually yellow and black, they're yellow and a really dark shade of gray-brown. 
So I'm going to use this and I'm gonna use the chisel tip to come in and do my details here and fill in the bottom section of the mouth. I'm gonna leave the top part alone right now other than outlining it. And color in that bottom section and you can do that again either with the brush pen portion or continue with your chisel tip. Of course, if you want to use other colors, you're certainly welcome to do so, but I want mine to look just like they do on my phone and this I think for me is the closest that I could get. Now I'm gonna color in his eyebrows. He's really enjoying himself there. And then I have two shades of blue. I have P491 and I'm gonna do that first. And you'll see that it kind of blends in with the yellow a little bit, but eventually turns that light blue. And then on top of that, I'm going to use P452. And this is a nice teal color. And that's gonna give me those laughing teardrops. And you'll notice that if you look at that emoji, the teardrops are a little darker on the bottom. So I'm just gonna layer a little bit more color down there at the bottom. That's one way that you can blend with these markers is just by layering more of a color in one spot than in another. And there we have our laughing friend, except for the fact that we're gonna need to go back in with a white paint pen for his teeth. If you want to think ahead and sketch the face first, you could leave that part just blank canvas and that would save you the step of adding the white paint pen. You can also use a small detail brush and regular white paint to fill in this section and make your emoji complete. Some of these guys also have little white highlights in the hearts, on the tears, or in other places. So anywhere that you see white highlights, you can feel free to take your detail brush and add them in with your white paint. And there we have Mr. LOL. I think my favorite emoji, if it's not Mr. LOL, would be the heart eyes. So I'm going to sketch those heart shapes, which are actually a little bit on a diagonal. And this one, the mouth is entirely that black or dark brown, dark gray color. So we don't have to worry about the white paint on this one. Then I'm going to take P845 and work on coloring those big red hearts. So I'm just gonna trace my pencil outline and fill it in with color. Don't you love the sound of marker on canvas? This is a wonderful example of artsy ASMR. Now it's time for the mouth. So we'll take either end of your marker, outline your pencil, and then fill it in solid with color. Before we move on, this one does have some highlights in the heart eyes themselves up at the top. So I'm going to take my detail brush and my white paint and make that happen. This next face is a particularly fun one. He actually has two different sized eyes and he's sticking out his tongue. I'm not sure he knows or likes what's happening. To draw the eyes, the one on the left is smaller and the one on the right is larger and slightly crooked. These eyes are white with black or dark gray pupils and so we need to use our detail brush and our white paint to color them in. Then we'll need to let those dry before we can continue with that part of the emoji face. While we wait for the eyes to dry, it's time to sketch the mouth. It's a smiling mouth, but it's on a diagonal. It also has a row of teeth at the top and that tongue sticking out. So we're gonna sketch that long, thin semicircle for the tongue area. Then it's gonna be time to add color. 
First, I'm going to outline the shape of the mouth using my dark gray. I'm gonna stop on either side of the tongue. I'm gonna fill in the bottom section using the chisel tip end. Then I'm going to use pink colors for the tongue. When you're using alcohol-based markers, one thing you'll notice is that because the alcohol evaporates when it touches the surface and hits the air, the color is gonna look a little bit different when you first apply it than it does when it's dried. That's why I like to swatch my markers ahead of time. I'll scribble them on a little piece of scrap paper to see what they look like when they're dried. That's how I chose this particular color for the tongue. Now we go back and add the white for the teeth using our detail brush and white paint. Rather than being a solid shade of pink, the tongue has some detail to it. So I'm going to add that to my emoji as well. I'm using a darker shade of pink to add a little line in the middle and color around the bottom of the tongue. This is P755. To blend this a little bit more smoothly, I'm gonna go back with my lighter pink and color over top. This is a great technique to get a nice smooth blend. The final step for this emoji face is adding the pupils to the eyes. Now we're ready to move on to row two. The one I'm doing in the bottom left-hand corner required those large white eyes. So since it takes a while to dry, I went ahead and did those first, allowing them to dry while I move on. The next sketch is an easy one. The eyes are just Vs pointing inward or greater than less than signs. The mouth is a big wide open mouth with another tongue sticking out. Once I sketched it, I took the dark gray and I traced over the eyes first. Then if you notice, the actual emoji has rounded areas where the points of the Vs are. They're not quite so sharp and pointy and they're a little bit thicker. So I did the same thing with my marker to make it as accurate as possible. Just tracing over those lines and then adding a little bit of a curve on the inside of the V. Then it's time to outline the mouth in dark gray as well, leaving space for the tongue and coloring in the area around where the tongue will be. We'll use that same light pink for the first step of the tongue, coloring it in a solid shade. And then we'll go back with our dark pink, adding that detail line down the center, coloring a little bit around the edges, and then blending by coloring again with the lighter pink color. This gives us a much better blend and a more realistic looking tongue. The emoji I chose for the bottom right is another of my personal favorites. I use it all the time when I'm texting my husband, my mom, and my boys. This one is the happy smiling face with hearts all around it. So first, you'll sketch those two semicircles for the closed eyes. You'll sketch some eyebrows and then a nice full smile. Then you're going to sketch three hearts around the outsides of the face. One goes on the bottom left, one goes on the top right near his eyebrow, and then the other heart is gonna go on the bottom right, slightly lower than the one on the bottom left. Now it's time to add our color. We're gonna start with that dark gray as always, and I'm gonna use the chisel tip to trace over those excited closed eyes. I want to make them nice and thick so that they're going to be thicker than the eyebrows and they really stand out. Then I'm going to do a quick swipe over the eyebrows and color in solid the mouth. You'll notice that this particular mouth is shaped more like a smile. It's not flat on top like some of the others are. I'm just using the chisel tip to color it in, but you can of course use the brush tip end as well. 
Then once this step is done, it's going to be time to make some magic with red hearts. Using either end of your red ABT Pro marker, you're gonna just color in those hearts nice and solid. These hearts do have white highlight lines if you look at the actual emoji on your phone. And so I went back with my detail brush and white paint to add those once my hearts were colored in. There was one other detail to add as well, which is that this emoji is blushing. So I added little pink circles on the cheeks. Now it's time to move on to our final emoji. Those white eyeballs are finally dry, so it's time to sketch the rest of the face. This is the shocked emoji, so the mouth is actually a straight line, which is thick like a rectangle. The eyebrows are very raised. Remember, it's shocked. There are also blushing cheeks and pupils in the eyes. So we're taking our dark gray marker and adding those pupils then we're gonna trace over the mouth area, making it nice and thick. And then we're gonna go over those raised eyebrows as well. Then just like we did with the previous emoji, we're gonna add those pink cheeks. So there you have it. Six very fun, very different emoji faces on one canvas, ready to display anywhere in your home. Friends, thank you so much for tuning in and creating with me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did making this project. I would love to see how yours turned out. If you take a picture of it, make sure that when you post it, you tag me at Amy Latta Creations as well as Tombo at Tombo USA so that we can see and share your work. Also, make sure that you're subscribed here on Tombo's YouTube channel so that you don't miss a thing. We've got lots more fun tutorials heading your way soon. See you next time.